Android users. Here's some good advice about freebies to avoid. The first thing you see is you will get a message saying uh, you can get free download free copies of popular games. Uh, and it do a URL. Again, it's a server in Hong Kong. One person in, in a thousand, maybe, uh, will go through this process. They'll go to the server and they'll think, oh, cool, a free copy of, of Angry Birds Star Wars. I want that game. The installation process is a little complicated. You're told this is a beta edition of the software. So you have to go through these steps to give it permission to run. In fact, you're giving it all sorts of access to your phone that it shouldn't have, that no application no game application should need, including reading your contacts list and sending SMS messages. Then it calls up to the control, command and control server in Hong Kong, and uh, it downloads the spam message that the spammer wants it to send out, and a list of phone numbers. And it goes through and starts sending those spam messages to those phone numbers. Typically, the command and control server is returning uh, a message a spam message that can change from time to time, and a list of 50 phone numbers for, and then, and then your phone will just start sending these messages out, uh, one after the other to these phone numbers and reporting back to the central server when it's successful. Uh, it, once, it's, once it's done with the list, you know, every, every uh, 65 seconds or so, which is about how long it's going to take to get through the list, it'll, uh, it'll go back and, and get more. Even if you uh, turn the phone off and on again, it's installed itself as a service. So it will wake up when your phone wakes up. I think the moral of the story is do not download apps to your handset unless they're from a trusted source, such as Google Play. Uh, do not just put anything on from some, some random site in China because that is asking for trouble. And make sure your kids know that as well.